Hi friends! Today's book is one that my mom told me about that apparently I used to read all the time and we would get this book from the library and we would read it together and the library is a great place where you can find all kinds of new books. Today's book is The Little Girl and the Dragon by Else Homeland Minarak. The Little Girl and the Dragon by Else Homeland Minarak. Once, there was a little girl who had a book about a dragon. One day, the dragon got out of the book. Oh no, what a surprise. He swallowed her stuffed dog and her baby doll and her doll's bed and the doll carriage. Then he swallowed her mini computer, her best game, and her cash register and all her puzzles. Hmm, look at the little girl's face. Is she happy that the dragon is eating all of her toys? She looks mad or frustrated to me. He also swallowed her dollhouse. Now that's enough, said the little girl. I want all those things back and right away too. What happens if I don't give them back? asked the dragon. Why, I'll sit on this book and you'll have no place to stay, said the little girl. So she won't let him back inside the book until she gets all her toys back. <sighs> okay, said the dragon. Here they come. So he blew the dollhouse, the puzzles, the cash register, the best game, and the mini computer. And then he blew out the doll carriage, the doll's bed, and the baby doll. One more thing, said the little girl. I want my stuffed dog too. Can I keep it? asked the dragon. No, said the little girl. She's using her words to say what she wants. That toy was hers, and it wasn't okay for him to take it. The dragon sighed and blew out the stuffed dog. And then the little girl let him back in the book. She's opening the pages for him so the dragon can go back inside. Where he belonged. So she, she put the book and tied it up and put it under her bed so the dragon wouldn't escape again and take her toys. The end. Thanks for listening to that book, friends. See you next time.